Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can create a workflow on your Zoho CRM account or organization. So let's get right into it. Now workflows are pretty much used to automate certain things on your site uh, or on your CRM. And I'll be showing you guys exactly what that means and how you can set it up in just a moment. So let's get right to it. Now, what you need to do once you're logged into Zoho, as you can see currently, I'm on my main page or on my home page of the Zoho CRM. Once you're here, you need to click on setup in the top right. And under automation, as you'll see, the first option is workflow rules. You can set up other automation options over here, but we're gonna be focusing on the specific workflow rules. So let's click right on it. Now, as you can see, you should already have one sort of uh, automatically made rule since I don't remember making this, but pretty much what you can do to create one is just click create a rule in the top right. Now, once you do that, you can select a module and I'm going to select leads. Then you can make a name. I'll just make it test and you can add a description. Then once you click next here, you can set up everything for automation. So for example, execute this workflow rule based on either record action, date, time, field, record score, or record notes. I'll just record an action. For example, you can select create, create or edit, edit or delete. I'll select create or edit and repeat this workflow whenever a lead is edited. I'll just click OK, click Next. And now you need your condition. Now, which leads would you like to apply this rule to? Leads matching certain conditions or all leads. I'll just select all of them. Then you can select instant actions such as field update, and you can just make the name, I'll name it test, and update, for example, rating, acquired. You can set it as empty if you want, or you don't need to, that doesn't matter. Then click save and associate. You can also have scheduled actions if you also want to, but I won't add them. And then you can click save, and then now your workflow rule is created. And whenever that, well, what's it called? A condition is met, the workflow rule will execute and it'll make the appropriate changes. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.